Okay, let's pick back up with this campaign. You picked, of course, for your research, you picked agricultural. And you chose to not trade with either Austria or Prussia for any land. But we did end up at war with Prussia because they attacked Saxony. And now we have taken East Prussia from them, but they have, in exchange, taken West Prussia. And then we took it back from them. So that's kind of where things stand at this point. But then they've got West Prussia back. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a seesaw affair. And now the Prussians take out Silesia from the Austrians, who are our ally. It is now currently the year 1702. And the Prussians are making an advance onto Warsaw itself. Now we are going to have to sally forth and try to repel them. We have a much larger force, but the majority of our men are pretty crappy. We have basically seven good units out of our whole army of 16. But we're gonna send our cab in. We're gonna take out their artillery. That is the first goal. We do get a, a devastating hit there on our cab, but we do route them, not take them out. But we do route one of the artillery units off the field. He will come back, but it is at least good to have him push back. Now our citizens, they're less than to be desired, but we at least take care of the routing artillery unit that's returning to the field and push up and try to take out the other artillery, but these guys can't shoot worth a damn. And now they have pushed their cav on us. We'll try and take out one of their cav units here, which we end up actually getting routed. Now the problem is most of these guys are on our right flank and they are going to start routing, causing a chain reaction on us. And a lot of these units on my right flank are going to start routing. Now you can see on my left flank, we have a few citizens over there behind the Prussian lines helping to whittle down the Prussian uh, on our left flank. So luckily on our right flank, we do have a pikeman unit over there, actually two of them, that are kind of holding the line over there for us while we take care of business on the left. And boy, do they come in handy because we are now starting to get some of our units that routed back into the fight. And that does help us to finish off the Prussians here. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty bad fight and it does leave some cause for concern. Even though we do end up winning this battle, it is a very concerning. As you can see, some of our units still routing off. It's a lot of the fact that we do not have a general in this army. And there's not really a whole lot we can do about it as... Uh, we're in the Prussian intern, and they are not letting up on Warsaw as they're sending another army over. And by the year 1703, on the next intern, the Prussians are fortifying some of the positions they do to try to take out Saxony and fail. So that is at least good to know. But there is a massive Prussian army at the doorstep of Warsaw, and this is not good so we're going to use similar tactics to what we just used we're going to try and rush the weaker flank of the prussians as they have a militia anchoring this left side of our flank and we're going to try and route that unit and hopefully get some chain reaction using our numbers our superior numbers to affect but you can see these citizens just break and this is bad news because when they start breaking like that all these units breaking it is going to cause a chain reaction on us and it is not going to be pretty whatsoever it is just mass route time as you can see all of the citizens have routed with the exception of one and he's wavering and then they're going to spread into our cav routing which is the most important part of this army and yeah it's just it's no no bueno no bueno I wish I could say there's some silver linings to this battle, but clearly there's, there's not. There's not. It's just a complete butt 
Wupon. A butt Wupon in in Ah, yeah. Let's let's just move on from it. It's it's too bad to ponder on for too long. Alright, so we lose our capital, which will have a lot of negative effects on our empire. So things are not going well. I kind of felt that this choice would put us at pretty desperate stakes. As, as you can see, the Prussians sweeping up, taking over four regions now. And then they try to attack us here as I was trying to consolidate my forces. I retreat from that so we can continue to consolidate our forces. And now, after some consolidation, a few turns later, in 1704, we can make our push back to try to take Poland and Warsaw back from the Prussians. And it's not going to be easy, as you can see. They still have a very large force and have a lot of um, not-so-great units. But I did start recruiting some line infantry uh, because obviously the Prussians have oodles of it and I've I've got to make this battle be a good one so I can't really I don't have time to spam the militia and use any of those kind of tactics we, we gotta we gotta get our heads in the game here folks so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up double lines to son somewhat try to take out their Cav here because once we take out their mobility, they will be pretty vulnerable to anything we can dish out to them, and that's basically what we're doing here. And so we take out one cav, and here comes another one in on the opposite flank from the reinforcement army's side. And we are going to push a cav behind them to cause some morale drops, and then our other two militia will come up and shoot into him while he is in melee with our third militia and that works and now we can push this flank of the Prussians which would be our left flank the Prussian right and we can just whittle that flank down while we keep them stretched out here in the front with our main force that way they can't turn their flank to meet our flanking force and here they send their cav unit on our right flank and we can quickly look to disperse that and we're gonna fold our right flank because that's our weakest flank and try to eliminate their cav and then take the best options that the Prussians present to us with uh, bad maneuvering and they are starting to maneuver now as they've pushed away from our strong flank and are trying to push our weak flank but we are going to fold it continuously and see if we can get them into a trap of getting units singled out and that's exactly what happens is we single out one unit on their right and then we can continually do that until we whittle them down as you can see we've already routed out several prussian units now if we can just continue to do that whittle their numbers down use our superior number advantage then we can probably take this fight without much of a of a, a do about nothing and we're starting to get there we've almost got to the point where we can envelop them we they made a couple more mistakes here they lose two more units on our left which is very good because now we can stretch and start wrapping around them as you see some of our units already in behind we got like a three-quarter circle around them and here we go we're about to completely envelop them here almost that point we're taking out their general's bodyguard here soon and the the battle for warsaw the retaking of warsaw is looking a little more encouraging as we send in the pikemen to keep them busy so they're not able to return fire we do route off their general and kill him and now they are completely enveloped and it's time to send in some cav hit and run charges to cause even more morale drops so we can get them to go ahead and go away now 
So these tactics clearly work as we do cause some pretty good damage with the cab and continue to push closer, giving them more of a reason to want to, to leave this fight. And that is exactly what happens as we do end up taking Warsaw back. Our capital is safe back in Polish hands. Thank the maker. We are in business again. Now, vengeance is running in my brain and I don't necessarily need to run down all these Prussian units because they are the besieged units so we could just end it here but I had a thirst for blood so we run them down yeah sometimes we just roll that way so Warsaw's back in our hands yes and now we're back in business and now actually the Prussians are pretty stretched then this leaves us in a really good position now and we can start really taking it to them as we do siege West Prussia and we are going to now look to possibly take Silesia as well. We can't look, let that advantage go to waste as that is one of our allies, former regions. And then Hanover declares war on us or actually declares war on Denmark and we side with them. And we do end up taking Silesia and also we end up taking West Prussia. So both of those regions now firmly in Polish Lithuanian hands and things are starting to look a lot better as we have been in a tight tussle with the Prussians but here come the Swedish who were also at war with if you've forgotten they were they also declared war on Denmark who were allied with and then the Ottomans now declare war on us as we are in a stretched out and weakened state we don't have many forces in our southern regions and the Ottomans are going to look to take advantage of that. But we are going to use the tactics that we have so well done in the past of using Cav as the Ottomans lack that. Now Sweden is going to be a problem. They are fielding a lot of armies here in our east. And we are going to have to deal with them and push a lot of forces there. But also we have to knock out the Prussians. If we can take Berlin, that would be sweet but they still have a lot of men in Berlin. So this will certainly not be an easy feat as the Swedish end up pushing forward. We can auto resolve that with the Russian allies and send them packing. Now here we stand at, now if you did enjoy this content, don't forget in the end screen right here, you can go ahead and click to go to the next video. If it's not here yet, it will be soon.